What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the Nunchi Podcast. We are at episode 101. And we are back to no guests. Yeah. Hey, you know what, though? That was really smooth, though, your uh, your intro. Why? Because usually you always have some sort of like weird buffering thing going on where yeah. you kind of meander, but that was very, well, that was very clean. It took a hundred episodes to get <laughs> <laughs> But big shout out to Daniel De Kim for joining us last week in the studio. That was really gracious of him. Um, you know, he normally doesn't do podcasts. Right. Apparently, but he was gracious enough to to join us on such a momentous occasion. Right, and, right. Um, yeah, that was really cool. Um, I hope you guys like that show. Um, and then, you know, moving forward, I think um, I'm kind of pumped. I think we can, like, I'm excited for the next chapter of Nunchi Podcast. I think it's time to step up our, our game. Right. With that in mind, uh, we have nothing to talk about today. <laughs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, God damn it. I mean, you uh, know what? I think you've been watching too much Norm. Yeah. Be, you know, you, yeah. you want to know why is because right. Norm has ridiculously long, shitty uh, setups yeah. for a punchline, right? Yeah. Yeah. Except the difference is his punchline pays off. Yeah, it does pay <laughs> off. Yeah, yeah. Yours is like, I'm working on it though. What the though. fuck you doing? I went through another, I keep going through these Norm McDonald black holes like right. on social media. And it's just so, I've seen it all and now I'm just seeing it again. And now I just search for, um, oh, actually, let me, let me take this call real quick. Uh, hello? Yeah. You know how he said that we're oh. going to like, you know, step it up and he's done the exact opposite of stepping up, which is taking a phone call oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Peter. in the middle yeah. of a fucking podcast recording which we probably need to, and and he's keep and he keeps on talking. So this is useless. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna keep on talking shit. I'm gonna keep on talking shit about Bobby and his, I'm, we're gonna keep on stepping it up and take <laughs> a fucking- I took a phone call. Yeah, yeah and, and, and it was, and I, from what I hear, it was completely fucking useless. You could have called him back. Right? Yeah, right. no, I mean like, some people, yeah, I, I wanted to. You could have fucking call. called them yeah. back when you could be like, Peter is a fucking editor. Yeah, you yeah. could have texted him that. Yeah. See, this is this is the problem, Bob. Yeah. Yeah, we need to change that. I put others before us. Yeah. 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 At least for this show, yeah, we should sure. put us above them, <laughs> right? Well, I was talking about Norm McDonald, yeah. right? Okay. Um, so I, I went through another black hole of watching right. his stuff, and it's like, uh, it's settled. Like he's he's my uh, all time favorite uh, comic of all time. So uh, before it was like I, I think I was pretty set on it before, but like it, it always kind of like jumped around. But I think I think there's no one greater in my mind for my taste. Right. Yeah. Um, but now I just keep looking for other people talking about him. Now people are like still talking about him. Like his, you know, like. Yeah. Uh, Cause he has, cause the stuff that we see, you know, especially like not just comics, but people that are dead, mm -hmm. like those like stories that never, they never heard about those, like, like on the road stories or the yeah, personal yeah. stories, which are also, um, you know, fun and, and interesting to hear about, yeah, you know what I mean? I'm just like looking for new stories about Norm on the road or like pe right. people with their stories about him. Yeah. Um, and so it's just, it's been, it sucks, you know, but it's, you know, yeah, I was even looking at his old Twitter account and looking through all his random tweets, and, <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know, I've been uh, going through this comedy thing, especially I went to your show again. Yeah. You, you went um, to, you, I, I think, you know, the reason, like, I mean, not only that, so let's, Let's let's backtrack. Yeah, Backstory yeah. to that is yeah. this past Thursday, mm -hmm. um, there is a Korean show that just launched. It started airing called OK OK. Mm -hmm. Right, it, the hosts are is is one woman who's like famous for being like a child psycholo psychologist, mm -hmm. uh, but she's like on a bunch of shows just being like 
uh, the psychology, like giving advice and solutions yeah. to like not not just child anymore. She's like anymore. really popular these yes, days. Yes, She's yes. like the Doctor Phil of Korea. Would yes, you say? yes, Something yes. Like that. Yeah. Uh, except I'm a. I don't think Doctor Phil is really a doctor of anything. But oh yeah, I, yeah, that yeah, might, yeah, yeah. That might be true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and then uh, two comedian co-hosts. Right. Two comedian. Oh. Right, right, right. Okay. Right. Did they both show up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I know one of them is the guy. He was on. Um, Yang Seung, he's yeah. like the the shorter dude that uh, he was on the the latter later end of Muan Dojang. Yes, yes. And mm -hmm. he's he's in a lot of stuff. He's like yeah. he's like a like a like a big time dude. And then mm -hmm. the other comedian is also pretty big time mm -hmm. called uh, Yi Sang Jun. Uh, he kind of looks like a, a catfish. And and you guys did an episode at the the comedy club, right? So right. so basically the 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 story is mm -hmm. is that like. The, the the theme of the show is they go around many different workplaces and just kind of um, want to learn the uh, or know about like the stresses and struggles of the everyday man of the everyday man. Woman. Right. Yeah. And so this episode is not about stand up comedy, per se. Mm -hmm. It's about live performers uh -huh. and their uh, and their uh, problems, struggles, mm -hmm. you know, worries, concerns. And they interviewed you and. And so at first, so they they tell me like we have to meet up in the morning at like Teagno, which mm -hmm. is like the area where there was a lot of um, like performance, yeah, like art, yeah, just more like musicals, yeah, but like not like the big ones, but just like amateur run mm -hmm. or like you know those types Off of Broadway, yes, yes, yeah. yes. And so there's a there's a there's a park in Teagno that's apparently famous, right? Uh -huh. And so they built they told us to meet there. Mm -hmm. So I get there and it's this this week's been like exceptionally hot, yeah. right? And so they built like a booth that they want us to go in mm -hmm. and write our concern. Mm -hmm. And then there's like cameras everywhere. Uh -huh. So you have to like read it aloud to the camera yeah. and ask for advice. Uh -huh. Right. And then behind the camera, there's like the director who's asking random questions to kind of, because, you know, they want to get material okay. you know, that they can use. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, so, you know, my, my, my concern that I brought up, but I don't think it's like strong enough because other people had worse or not worse, but like more mm -hmm. sad and difficult concerns okay. compared to mine. Mine was like, hey, like I've been here for five years. I, f I find it rewarding and fulfilling to uh, help the stand up scene. Mm -hmm. And, you know, like people are getting b better. The scene's getting better. Mm -hmm. A lot more Koreans are knowing what stand, you know, they're more familiar with stand up okay. because of us, I feel like. Mm -hmm. And uh, for that, like I feel grateful. Uh, and my goal is to really stabilize the scene here. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, like, uh, I can't go back home right now. You know what I mean? Because you're in the smack in the middle of yes, this. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And so uh, the part of me is like, you know, I, I miss my family. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm, you know, uh, being a terrible son. Like, it's not like my parents are getting mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. any any younger. Yeah, my yeah. sister uh, gave birth, and I haven't seen my nephew yet. Yeah, you know what I mean. So mm -hmm. I feel like a terrible family member. Mm -hmm. And uh, but you know, it's just that me knowing that if I'm gone for a month, uh -huh. chances are the shows are gonna suck ass. Okay, you know what I mean. And just the idea of somebody paying. 30 plus bucks. So you feel like there's a lot of weight on your shoulders. Yes, yes, so, yes, yes. Did you cry? No. <laughs> okay. And so, you know, I wrote that in English. I was like, yo, I can't write yeah. this in fucking okay. Korean, right? Okay. And so I wrote it in English and then I read it in English and then I translated and said it in Korean. Oh, yourself. Right, right, right. Okay. And then, um, you know. Why did it have to be at a park? That's, again, like <laughs> in, a, in a fucking booth in the middle of like. Outside yeah, in the heat. So hot, right? Yeah. And so, you know, um, do you have any, do you have a message yeah. for this Pak Sanim? So mm -hmm. I, I said, looking straight into the camera, next time you do this shit, fucking put some AC in this booth. <laughs> it's goddamn hot in here. <laughs> I hope they use that. That's probably not. They probably yeah. won't, right? Yeah. And so, you know, afterwards, so I, I you know, on Thursdays are usually slow at uh -huh. the comedy club, uh -huh. but I 
I was told that they were going to get at least B-roll of people watching the show and laughing yeah, or yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. So I was like, oh, shit. I looked at the, the sales and I was like, oh, this is not good. Yeah. So, you know, with your help, you yeah. brought about 10 people yeah. to the show. And then at, at the at the uh, at the end, there's a few more like people that bought tickets, right? Yeah. So it's about 20 people, which is still not good, but it was yeah. good enough to make a show go, right? Yeah. I mean, we showed up and I was like expecting yeah. at yeah. least, yeah. you know, 30, yeah, 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 yeah. 40 people, yeah, yeah, yeah. not expecting to bring half the crowd. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, everyone was expecting uh to see cameras and stuff and and yeah that, that was basically what i told everyone i said hey danny yeah. needs our help there's yeah. a show that's filming yeah, yeah, yeah. They, everyone knew it, what, what it was yeah. who the yeah. people involved were they yeah. were all excited yeah. and then so i felt bad yeah i was like oh me, uh, me too because i was like yo where the <laughs> fuck is the is the yeah. crew mm -hmm. and they they took forever mm -hmm. and they came late they started shipping moving their equipment as soon as the show was over yeah we noticed right and i was like yo yeah. what the fuck then then yeah. i feel bad asking you to bring you know people no, they made an announcement at right. the end of the show right. oh we're about to film so everyone has to leave yeah i was like <laughs> i was like i was like what the fuck <laughs> is this shit you know and i felt yeah. and i felt terrible you know yeah. uh, about that too it's because like you know i thought they were going to catch b-roll and they didn't uh, yeah. it's okay though. Like uh, I, I felt bad, but yeah. then everyone, you know, I spoke to everyone about the situation yeah. and they were like, they had a great time, you know? And so you put everyone on the guest list you, and yeah. everyone, uh, I paid for everyone. So, wow. and all their, their yeah. drinks and uh, I, I paid for Tadas oh, wow. from the office, like a couple of them so yeah. that we can go in the yeah. comfort. And yeah. so that was, so, so yeah, I took care of them. I okay. think. Yeah. Okay. Um, so. well, thank you. Yeah. And, uh, you know, but the, the, the thing was you came, mm -hmm. you've seen my hour. Yeah. I think you've <laughs> seen it every single time I've done it here so far. Yeah. yeah. Right. So three times. Mm -hmm. Right. And plus other, other 20 minutes, 15 but, minute sets. Right. But you, you know, like you always add new material. I notice like at least one bit or like, well, I had to, right? because like, I don't, f I don't feel bad when you keep on coming. Like you're going to, yeah, yeah. you're, you're going to hear the same shit. Right. Yeah. But then like there was. There was about five to six people uh -huh. that have seen my one hour twice uh -huh. in that group that you yeah. brought. So I was like, I can't, I can't, you know, and yeah. I'm closing out the show, right? So, I mean, the bit you added actually yeah. was the funniest bit of the night. Right, right, right. So you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> <Just like. laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I don't want to, uh, I, I guess we have to talk about it eventually. Not the yeah. bit itself, yeah. but uh today the, the day that we are filming today is a monday yeah and tomorrow is uh d-day for uh my balls get trained <laughs> yeah right yeah Th now that's now, some commitment man you coming in today i thought i actually thought there might be a possibility that you'd be like hey let's uh take a break this week because no I gotta, yeah. that's why we're not getting hits because <laughs> we are not being diligent about our schedule i mean this is your yeah. first time getting surgery though yes yes right? it's so. my first time being uh like full-on put out yeah like like like, like full yeah. anesthesia right mm -hmm. um and you know they like a lot of people around me were asking are you sure like you don't need anybody to like be there for mm -hmm. you yeah and to be honest I, I said no to everybody mm -hmm. and it's not because I'm like prideful and I'm like a tough guy or whatever. Yeah. It's because I needed to be shitty. Yeah. So I can finish the goddamn joke. Uh, so you want to <laughs> yeah, finish the bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. By because, putting yourself in a... Of course. Yeah. Like, like... That's dedication. That's, that's... I, wa I was yeah. like, guys, trust me. Like, if it was yeah. like open heart surgery or something crazier, yeah. then of course I would need help. And I'd be like, please, you yeah. know, like I would, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't feel bad to ask somebody to like spend, the, like yeah. take a day off or whatever, right? Yeah. But to get my balls drained, I don't think it's like that big of a deal, right? And so I know that it's going to suck, uh -huh. like walking from the hospital to my house, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Which is... A, about a 10 minute walk normally <laughs> for me yeah you know so does that kind of in my mind i know this is gonna suck yeah you, you know. it, that 10 minute walk will probably be a yeah. two hour <laughs> right, right 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 <laughs> yeah. and and you know given yeah. the 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 how humid it is possibly uh -huh. gonna rain like i want it all to be 
shitty without uh-huh. it being life threatening. Yeah, yeah. So that I can be like, hey, yeah, this is the worst possible yeah. situation for what I'm going through right now, and that way I know that this joke is going to have an interesting ending. <laughs> okay, right? Okay. Uh, but you know, but you know, like that, that type of, uh, uh, you know, thought is like, have you ever been like, like full blown surgery? Um, actually the first time I went under the knife, Mm. I guess, like surgery, Mm. like was for my, uh, deviated septum. So they put you out cold? I thought they were going to, and uh, I was waiting for it. Uh, I was like, oh, when is this gonna, right. when are they gonna put me under? Right. And then I realized it wasn't happening. Uh, and then I was freaking out mi- during the surgery because, uh, you know, they did local anesthesia. Uh, so I couldn't feel it, uh, right? But I can hear everything, yeah, yeah, like yeah. them cutting and breaking right. stuff. Right. And from what, like 50 50 they put you out and some people they don't they say it's like actually safer not to put you under right so uh but i had i was under the impression that i was going under so uh, to answer your question i i haven't been ever you've never been put out. i've been put out just like for colonoscopy and and, uh, endoscopy like so i've been put out in that way but not like waking up to like um you know like being stitched up right, 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 or anything like that. But you, like, don't you like, there's a part of me that I find very interesting is that like, I mean, I guess, you know, sleep is another feeling like this, but mm-hmm. like where there is actual, uh, an amount of time mm-hmm. that just, you are not present. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, like, like mm-hmm. there's, there's, there's a, like, there's a bit of potential memories yeah, yeah, like just zapped away. Oh yeah, I you mean, like I mean? when I woke up from my first colonoscopy, right? I was still like, I I was still like drugged up, right, right. And I remember waking up and just feeling like, oh shit, something happened down there in yeah. the back in the hangmun, right, right, right. right? So, oh, you learned the word, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> it, was, <laughs> it was really like slimy back there right, and stuff, right. and I was like, oh gosh, yeah. And I remember I had to go, I had to um go change or something Mm -hmm. i went to some room and i was like i had it i had enough sense to record myself Mm. so i remember recording it and i listened to it later and it was like i went on a trump rant oh wow it's like saying this mother all this stuff and then that's you know what that's the one part that i i I probably wish i needed someone's help Uh is that like the wild shit that might come out of my mouth oh yeah yeah i'm waiting like where like as I'm leaving the hospital, everybody uh-huh. in the room is giving me shitty looks. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know what the fuck I said. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. um, uh, a little bit added to my joke though, mm-hmm. and this is this is. I, did you know that the current Korean president has a pretty bad habit of touching his balls? <laughs> What? Like like in public. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like memes of it. Yeah. Like, yeah. And I was like, what? Come on, man. No <laughs> way, right? And then so people like have sent me like um like yeah. like compilations of the dude like in meetings or in like press conferences. Okay. <laughs> and there's no desk. Yeah. So you can't even hide that shit. Yeah. So he's like, you know, just sitting and he's uh what do you call it? Like, you know, uh uh man spreading as they call it. Like yeah. he, he don't yeah. sit legs cross he yeah. he's always just like yo i wonder if he's aware of it and just doesn't care i don't mm-hmm. know and then like uh, mm-hmm. and i go you know what thank god at least in korean culture mm-hmm. there's no handshake at the end <laughs> 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 right i mean when you told the bit about your balls yeah uh at the comedy club yeah i remember you saying you didn't want to talk about it yeah because you don't want people just staring down there right right, right. but after you w- once you told the bit yeah I found myself just staring at my mesmerized, my, right. ma- mesmerized by <laughs> your crotch area. The glory. Even of, afterwards, yeah. even after the show, I was just kind of like, oh yeah, that thing is bulging. Like, yeah. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, mm-hmm. like, you know how the, 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 the gym I go to is like a private gym. So yeah. meaning, meaning it's not like a public gym. Nobody's, it's not like a bunch of people. It's literally me and a trainer. It's possibly. Yeah possibly another client and their trainer, yeah, right? Yeah. And so usually it's just me and my trainer, 
but then every now and again there's like a female yeah uh client mm -hmm. and their trainer and when they come as a joke uh, -huh. uh i'm uh, i'm doing bench presses <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. So when you're in the bench press, you yeah. you are if you do it right, you have to like you know kind of arch yeah. your back or whatever, right? So you are full wide, yeah, yeah. extended, and you, you got the stretchy pants on. Uh, okay. uh yeah, and, and 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 I am certain, <laughs> yeah, that uh, that uh, they 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 look okay, and to a point where, uh, like at first. Cause you know, there's, there's some clients that I've seen that like I've seen for, I, I've been doing, going there for a year now. Right. So mm -hmm. I, I, I will, I will see them never know their name. Yeah. Like my trainer go, he's, he's more of the, uh, social one. Okay. Yeah. So, so th there's three trainers in this, in this, um, in this, uh, this gym, mm -hmm. right. The owner who, who, who you just looks like a, like a, like a, like a, just a, tubby dude uh -huh. right but this motherfucker is like super strong okay like i've seen him like like deadlift like uh, a, like a not normal amount okay. of weight like this motherfucker is strong and he knows yeah. he's the owner but he is very anti-social okay right uh this other dude like super fit tall dude former like uh kickboxer mma guy uh -huh. right and he's he's also like anti-social Okay. My trainer is the weakest out of the three, but he talks of fucking everyone's ear off, right? <laughs> okay, okay. So when they call, like to 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 like you know like look for a trainer, mm -hmm. it only goes to his phone. Oh, okay. Because he's the one that's going to 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 sell them to and, sell them and then mm -hmm. assign which trainer goes okay. where, right? Yeah. And so my trainer, the weak motherfucker that's talkative, yeah, is like you know trying to sell what I do for a living. Uh -huh. You know, and then you know most of the most of the females' reactions are, oh, that's nice, you know, whatever, and then like whatever, right? But then one uh, female client, uh -huh. she hasn't really. We we've just I know I sailed for like six months. Yeah, out of the blue, was more interested about stand up comedy, uh -huh. and I think is because of my bulge. <laughs> 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 well, what you, well <laughs> you I have think to it's investigate. Of my bulge, right? you, you should investigate, right, and then find out if that's that's the case, right. And then we should probably they probably have like you can buy bulge bulge uh, and underwear that you can wear all the time, and maybe that'll help your like the wonder bra. Life. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but like my my thing is like for six months. You know, like, yeah. oh, you know, like stand up comedy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Didn't give a shit. Uh huh. N not, not a single word. And I, you know me, I'm not that social either. Mm -hmm. Right. And so, but then uh, the last month where I was dealing with this thing, oh, there's a comedy club. I should know what it's Oh, these are on jet. You know, and I was like, so when you getting married? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So uh, uh, there was a little bit of uh, benefit to nice. the bulge, nice. which is not going to be there anymore. Well, I mean, there's always ways to. You I'm know, not going to refill, I'm, dude. <laughs> <laughs> refill. <laughs> oh man. The process is like the process of draining it. Uh, it's kind of like getting coconut juice out of a real coconut. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like you told me, I don't know if we talked about it yeah. on the show, but you told me, I thought it was, they just stick a needle in there and just yeah. like extract it out. Yeah, It'd be yeah. as easy as that. But they actually have to like yeah. do some incisions yeah, they gotta, and they gotta, move things around. They got to butterfly the, the sack. Oh gosh. Okay. Right. This is the part where right. they got to butterfly the sack. some of the audience. Right. But, right. Well, whatever. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> if they listen to a hundred of these anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Wait. Yeah. They yeah. got to pull the balls out. Yeah. You know, the Rocky Mountain oysters. Yeah. Right. And then they're going to, uh, I was told they're going to, what do you call it? Shave up the top yeah. layer. Yeah. And get the 
the the whatever's the fluid out yeah. and then they're going to figure out where the where the pipes are blocked and, yeah. and whatever so that it doesn't happen do that again, again. Yeah. okay yeah oh man and then they're going to resew it and then so you know the jokes that i've been hearing at least from the comedians are like you should probably like uh what do you what do you call those where you bury something and uh, and then a time capsule yeah <laughs> right yeah. you should like like put something in yeah your balls yeah like, we were talking last yeah, week yeah, about yeah. putting yeah. some like yeah put it in like a, a vial or yeah. something put yeah. have it around your neck yeah or no no i mean inside the ball so like you know like you know uh you know those uh war movies where put it inside there yeah, while yeah, you yeah 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 you know those war war movies where yeah. like it, like the the fighter pilot is about to die and right yeah. before he dies he opens lock his it lock it where it's just yeah. like his girl or whatever yeah. you know what i mean yeah um stuff like that uh that was another thing and um it's funny you should put like a green army man in there or something <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like <laughs> uh, <laughs> <Who's that name? laughs> doctor can you is there any way you could put this in the in there while you're in there <laughs> why <laughs> like, i want it to, i want i want him to shoot better no but then like um the other suggestion was mm -hmm. uh you know i don't know if your parents did this my parents didn't but i've heard that this happens is like you know especially like when um like like for example like pe back 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 in you know elementary school, school or yeah. whatever right and some schools had uniforms. I went to a Catholic school. Yeah. And so it was all uniforms. Mm -hmm. And so like PE, for example, you know, like it's the same like uniform. Yeah. So in order to identify yours, like your my uh, some parents would stitch in like your name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like initials, right? Yeah. So should they because when they stitch the balls back together, <laughs> right? Put a DC. <laughs> <laughs> just in case you know aesthetically like, though yeah. they're going to sew you back up right like to kind of make le make it not as noticeable yeah they're right? not going to go against the grain they're yeah. probably going to go <laughs> <laughs> you know what i mean like they're, they're i mean well, or will you have to explain yourself every time you have like a visitor down there no, usually yeah. the lights are really off. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to see me at that angle. Uh, so, oh, I mean, man. the sad, well, the sad thing is um, I probably won't be able to lift or go to the gym for about, oh. a, for about a month yeah, after yeah. the surgery. Um, but, you know, I don't know. I have to talk to. Well, that's doctor. probably what put you in this dilemma in the first place. Probably. I don't know. So, predicament. so you know, that's that's currently uh, yeah. what the hell is going on. You should probably take it easy on the weights, too, just in general. Like you were saying, you were telling me how much you were actually lifting. Yeah. Like, is that necessary? I know you're doing it to, like, pump yourself up and try to have goals and yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, at your age, maybe just like take it easy on the goals like <laughs> we, you don't have to have as many goals in life a, a, after 40 because then i don't have anything to do i don't have yeah. you know what it is it's like like my career goals mm -hmm. are you know obviously just me continually doing what i'm doing if not yeah. better right yeah uh but then that's boring to me i need more I need okay. more other like out. See, I realize I don't have a hobby now. Yeah. Now, now, like if I have like like a family and kids, mm -hmm. right? Then yeah, obviously fuck your hobbies, right? But then yeah. like for me, I'm I'm a single dude. Yeah. Right. I feel like I need to have other things occupying my brain mm -hmm. aside from figuring out how to finish off a fucking. You, hydro seal joke yeah you know what i mean and so it might as well be working out and being like, yeah, yeah, yeah 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 and so but but then the working out part is like it's not even aesthetics you yeah, know what i mean like i'm not doing it healthy. for aesthetics right now mm -hmm. i'm doing it because i you know what it is all my life i thought my dad was the strongest human alive mm -hmm. like until until obviously like maybe entering high school yeah right He's still stronger than me. Yeah, I thought my dad was yeah. a war general yeah, 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 until yeah. I wised up. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> but know, like, but meaning meaning that like 
um, this motherfucker, I've seen like feats of strength uh -huh. that I was like, yo, I mean, it's not like amazing, but I was like, yo, that's 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 a strong dude. Yeah, it's yeah. not like my dad's like like musk buff or whatever. But he's, he's a big guy though, right? Yeah, he's like a six seven. You said right? no, 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 six seven. <laughs> what oh, the I fuck? No, he's, he's like six one, right? Six, oh, all right, yeah. But then, like, when I see him, like, so he used to. Um, I mean, he recently retired, thank God. But mm -hmm. then, like, he used to be a like a painter, but not artistic. Like, you you, you move out out oh. of your lease, and then he would repaint uh, the place, yeah, yeah. And whatever, okay. right? Okay. Yeah. And so those those drums of paint, mm -hmm. and he doesn't have like a helper. And I go, why not? And he goes, because that's less money that I have to pay somebody mm -hmm. off. So I'm I'd much rather go the hard way. Yeah. You know, which is kind of the same philosophy of me going back home yeah you know but like i see him carry like like those five gallon yeah those paint, huge pa paint buckets. filled yeah right up a ladder to get on the roof by himself oh shit on the roof yes okay yeah so from the ground floor he's going yeah. up the ladder yeah with two of these big motherfuckers yeah so he's not even holding on to the ladder and i'm like god damn my dad's almost 70. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I was like, that is a goddamn monster. Yeah, that's you know pretty I mean? that's pretty manly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I go, look, I can't do that shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I figured I need to kind of get there just to kind of compete with I see what you're saying. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, so so it's not like I'm doing it just to be like I'm not gonna ever join the world's strongest man competition or whatever because yeah, yeah. those motherfuckers are animals, you know. I mean, like with you're you're trying to uh, uh, contribute to ev evolution. Mm -hmm. Like you don't want to, you know, your family lineage to, you know, you don't want your genes to um, yeah. take a hit. You, yeah, you yeah. rather see it evolve and get stronger. With, I mean, because you know? <laughs> because <laughs> because. It's not looking so good for me right now yeah, in terms yeah. of what it is. So I was like, the only yeah. thing that I know that I can do is that I have like, I'm, I'm, I know that I'm relative, I'm super lazy, mm -hmm. but if I have like some sort of goals, mm -hmm. it's going, yo, fuck this hangover. I'm going to do this right now. Right. That's yeah. how I am. So yeah. did your dad have gout, psoriasis? Is he balding? Like any of that stuff? Balding, like, yes. Yeah. Not the gout, not the psoriasis. Okay. Did he ever have a hydrocell? No. <laughs> Does uh, he know about it now? No, I, I have not told. You, maybe my he had. Maybe he had it. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. it's not one of those sit down conversations yeah, yeah. with his son. But like, you know, but like, one day I mean, you might have. <laughs> yeah. Adra. You might wake up, uh, touch yourself. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> you got to add that into your yeah, bed yeah. somehow, you know? Yeah, but uh, yeah, let me do what I do. Anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell a joke, by the way. Uh, um, I actually heard a funny joke, mm -hmm. and I was wondering if I could tell it. Go ahead. I don't know if I. I don't know why you're asking <laughs> with that kind of fucking setup. <laughs> All right. So you hear about the the joke? I heard this on another podcast, mm -hmm. but uh, the joke about BB King's uh, wife. No, and you know they've been married for a really long time, mm -hmm. right? And so uh, one one of their anniversaries, apparently, she wanted to do something nice for him, mm -hmm. and so she was like, um, "You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a tattoo of BB on my body." Mm -hmm. uh, but she apparently got it on her uh, one one B on each ass cheek. Mm -hmm. Uh, and so on their anniversary, um, she surprised them and um, pulled down her drawer, drawers and then showed BB um, the, the the tattoo, bent over, and he was like, who's Bob? <laughs> okay. Maybe it was the delivery. Oh, what yeah. Do you think? Oh, is yeah. everything? I yeah. knew the punchline was you Bob that, as knew, soon as you said ass cheeks. Oh, man. Right. Okay. All right. Oh man, I've uh, never heard the joke, but I, I, I knew that's where it was going. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I think we'll make a segment out of it every week. I'll just come up, I'll bring a new joke every week, and and get, see if I get better at it. Maybe I don't think you have it. No, you know, you know what it is. Uh, I'm gonna be very clear. The setup of that joke, yeah, was so meander, like so, like unnecessarily long. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. That it gave the person the time to think of the punchline. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah you know okay. what I mean? Okay, yeah. 
Yeah. I guess when I heard it, it just I di- I didn't think of the punchline. Yeah. I wasn't, or and it was a professional comedian yeah. that, that yeah. told it. So. And also, it's probably the delivery, the cadence. You know, well, yeah. it was Bob. Recently, I heard something. I don't know if this is true or not, but I heard it in a, another podcast. Which podcast? I don't remember. I think it was the Flagrant podcast with Andrew Schultz and uh-huh. Akash Singh. I think I'm not sure, but apparently. You know how Drake, he, Drake, the, the, the musician, yeah. you know, he, he goes all around the world. I'm sure he fucking bangs a bunch of women from every city that he's in and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, but he has been caught after he finishes putting hot sauce inside the condom. Whoa, what? So that... To th- to thwart people or women uh-huh. from like when he's sleeping or he leaves, oh, to putting it inside. He's paranoid that right. they're going to right. impregnate themselves. Right, right. And oh. and to me, uh-huh. it feels like the most hardcore prank video on YouTube. <laughs> right, right. Uh, well, you know what I mean. Prank you know? as in. You know, like those, like like those prank videos yeah. where, like, oh, we filled this uh, this uh, green tea latte with wasabi or whatever. Yeah, like, yeah, you know, like yeah, those yeah, kind yeah. of like hardcore videos. Yeah. And I could just picture if if Drake was a YouTuber. Yeah. He's like, you know, hi guys, blah blah blah. blah. He's gonna set it up, and after he nuts, he's gonna bloop bloop bloop, <laughs> and pretend to go to sleep, and then you can see on the on the edge of the screen, this girl checks. And yeah. then like tries to put it inside her vagina and like scoop it in. I can't she, wait for this to be like a, a rap lyric right, right. in someone she, else's. And then she's like, oh my God, it's fucking hot. You been <laughs> pranked, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I would like I, I I can't wait for this to be like a rap lyric in right. someone else's like song. Right. Where where, where they talk about <laughs> 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 what the hell? So like, I mean, uh, you know, I, I personally don't know if it's a people could really get pregnant that way yeah. where like, you know, emptying out the the contents of a f- used condom into yeah. your vagina. Yeah. And then I don't know what uh do the handstands for <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? But don't don't condoms have like lubricant like spermicide kind of, yeah. yeah i don't know yeah. P- possibly yeah but like I, I, maybe again i've heard this from another podcast i'm not saying that it is true yeah or i fact checked it i don't know how i could fact check it yeah but you know that's what they heard through the grapevine and he's got to address it at some point yeah. somebody's gonna be like hey man yeah is this true yeah. <laughs> he's got to talk about it yeah. right uh All right. And that's why, you know, like when I heard it, I was, my brain went to like, oh, that is that, feel, you know, like mm. um, the there was like a explosion of prank channels in YouTube, especially in like America in like the like 2016, 2015, like that. Uh-huh, yeah. Right. Yeah. And then um, what killed it was the 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 takedowns the, the takedowns the yeah. yellow yellow dollar signs yeah. or whatever YouTube finally right um, considered yeah, it yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. and Not so safe. Uh, obviously this is a yellow dollar sign <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah um, damn that's that's so that's so interesting yeah but like can you blame them you know right. like but hot sauce like why like i guess hot sauce like easy like to it's got a spout and like you, it fits in there like i'm thinking of a p- t- tabasco uh, yeah but do you bottle. think he's you know like he's going to he carries uh, it with him go home and yeah like you know those travel size tabasco or yeah. sriracha right and then you just you yeah know. and then like obviously like if he throws it in the trash can or whatever yeah right you have to have <laughs> like if 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 i was a like a manipulative gold digging whore. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I fucking pull out the con, the used condom yeah. in the in the trash can. Yeah. And I'd be like, "Jizz is not supposed to be red." <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? 
what's up with his rose co- <laughs> like you know what i'm saying like yeah oh, but what i mean like hot sauce like, why why not just carry around like spermicide or, or like a bottle of purell or something like that I wonder if it was specifically hot sauce because. Do you think like he's a- sponsored by a hot sauce? <laughs> <laughs> and I wonder if he can still get pregnant, impregnated, but with like a hot sauce, like, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> if, che- if, if, if babies were Cheetos, that'd just be a hot Cheeto. <laughs> you know? The baby comes out not crying, it goes. <laughs> <laughs> oh man it's taking a weird yeah. turn fuck your milk mom give me some water right now <laughs> uh, uh yeah so that's i don't know yeah. man like the the it I, again like just the concept of like that just i was like that's such a a concern that I don't think I'll ever, um, I'll never face. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, like when you are that famous mm-hmm. and that rich, yeah, that you can pull like girls, yeah, all yeah. over the place, yeah, and um, those girls, mm-hmm. a lot of them possibly are willing to poke holes in a condom, yeah to get impregnated so they can get some sort of, you know, that's another thing. If child support you, that, money. That's like a, a, a possibility too, where someone might put a, like put, punch a hole in one. Right. Right. Why doesn't he just put the hot sauce in before? <laughs> <laughs> because it'll hurt him. <laughs> um, oh man. Yeah. So that's, and, and then the other stuff, you know, you know how I tell you every now and again, I'll go, this is what my YouTube algorithm is. Yeah. Yeah. It's like mm-hmm. right now it's like the rise and fall of mega YouTubers. Like there's a documentaries kind oh, of series it, okay. that kind of, kind of, uh, you know, talks about like a handful of YouTubers that had tens of millions of, yeah. of 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 subscribers and how their channel uh blew up mm-hmm. and what was the reason why it crashed okay you know and there's any for, interesting ones um i don't know about crash but like buzzfeed oh buzzfeed are yeah. they oh they're not actually yeah 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 so hot anymore right? so so like the reason why was uh-huh. uh because um they got bought out by a bigger company Uh and the bigger company ultimately went into the uh, idea of of just more is better. So you don't have to get a million hits per video, but you fucking crank out four more videos. No quantity over quality. Right, 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 right. And on top of that, the uh their stars in the videos uh, the the people that they originally liked yeah. they all left they all left okay. right and so eventually but ultimately buzzfeed itself according mm-hmm. to the video was not um profitable oh okay and so the company that bought them or whatever uh, invested in them mm-hmm. uh eventually pulled their money out Okay. And so originally when they had a shit ton of employees because of this investment, mm-hmm. they had to lay off almost everybody. Oh, I see. Okay. Right? And okay. so that was the reason, you know. Well, I mean, if they know the reasons for why it failed, it, it could come back essentially. But but on like, top but but yeah. I mean, but all their celebrities mm-hmm. or quote unquote YouTube ce- that became YouTube celebrities because of BuzzFeed. Yeah all left to do their own channels oh and then everyone just followed them yeah yeah yeah. so so ultimately the idea is like you know like it's not like the the idea can be great yeah right but then the talent is something that is really hard to find like it's not yeah yeah. you know like in front of the camera people like you know Mm -hmm. when we used to work when i used to work here and then we would try to do like uh reaction videos or whatever and and people just think Oh, reactions are easy. I was like, no, it's not. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was listening to uh, How I Built This uh, with uh, Guy Raz, that podcast. That he was interviewing uh, one of the founders of Twitch. Mm. And he I was listen- He had something interesting to say. Like, 
in terms of like investment and mm. investors, really the smart bet is, and he kind of fell in the category of like, you invest in, in people mm. more than the ideas. Right. Like um, you can invest in someone that is really uh, hardworking and uh, has a good team right. that gets shit done, right. but they have a bad idea. Right. But eventually that one's gonna pay out mm. more so than uh, a good, a great idea right. with just a so-so team. Right. Like um, always invest in people, in the people first, right? And then you'll be fine. Right. Right, so that kind of reminds me of that. Yeah, I mean, ultimately, yeah. you know, like, and I told you about this, about like what we want to do with a certain channel that that the comedy club. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know about a choir, but took over, right? Yeah, yeah. Like roasting. Yeah. But then, you know what I realized? Is that roasting conceptually is fun, mm -hmm. but I need to figure out who's good at roasting. Yeah, yeah. So for the last past weekend, so Thursday, Friday, Saturday, mm -hmm. after the filming, after the shows, I didn't do it on purpose. But we stayed till four in the morning. Oh, just to, every night. Yeah, just to like grab a drink. Yeah, and fucking knock each other's heads off. Okay, right? and some people are better than not. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's unfortunate yeah. that like you know the I can't tell the roast stuff here. Yeah, because it involves people that the audience doesn't know, right? Okay, and so ex okay. explaining that character and blah 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 is yeah. gonna take a long time. Whatever, yeah. right? But well, I mean, even in um. Yeah, I think I'm kind of guessing like some of the roast, the ones that do well at roasting, right? They're not as good on stage, or their bits yeah. aren't as good. But yeah, 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 they still have that kind of like. I mean, you know, there, yeah. there are. It's. It, I think it's. A, it's just because you're good at roast doesn't mean that you're a good stand-up comic. Yeah, and it's because, like kind of yeah. like Jeff Ross or like. I mean, Jeff Ross has. He's yeah. he's a funny comedian, of yeah, course, yeah, but like. Yeah. I actually couldn't tell you one of his bits. Like yeah. I, I do know that he kills yeah. at roasting. And the other way around, right, like so. just because you're a great comedian don't mean you're a good roaster either, right? Yeah. So like, so, yeah. you know, it's not a, right. you know, you, you can't, it doesn't, it's just a little subsection side thing yeah, that, yeah. you know, and I was like, this is because it's never been done in Korea so far mm -hmm. this way. And so like, I'm trying to like scout these motherfuckers to yeah. be like, uh, that's fun. Are bro. these guys good or whatever? Yeah. And then, you know, um, yeah, there was there was one night like we were roasting somebody about like like his posture. Because mm -hmm. this dude always is like hunched like this. Yeah. You know, and I was like, man, if we iron Joe ass out, you'd probably be six two, right? And then <laughs> and then and, yeah. and then that's when like everybody yeah. started jumping on and I was like looking. That's to fine. see to see what and then you know i think it might work but again if packaged the wrong way mm -hmm. it's just gonna look like we're bullies yeah right, you know what i mean right, right and so that's the part that i i need to figure out like it how, definitely should be edited nothing live streamed oh yeah absolutely not <laughs> yeah no but you know even even whatever yeah. even the line look uh you know, I'm the, we're mm. both the, you know, this soft ass generation, blah, blah, blah kind yeah. of people, right? So s some people eventually are going to take it the wrong way, even if yeah. edited, you know, and like. I mean, in this day and age, it's probably, you know, yeah. I mean, the US also is getting a lot of backlash for that kind of stuff too these yeah. days, but it's still acceptable. Like they still have, like, they'll do Kill Tony, you right, know, right. like, and, yeah. and just won't edit it and just, they say some mean shit on it. You yeah. Know? So like, Stuff like that. Like, I don't think Korea necessarily is, I don't think they're ready for that kind of like yeah. uh, rawness. But, you know, yeah. again, like, all, if ultimately my thought process is obviously they're not, yeah. but I feel that better better us than anybody else yeah sure do you know yeah. what i mean because it's like, exciting yeah because similarly yeah. with the overall like what the hell we're doing with podcasts yeah. and stand up yeah like i am and i'm sure you you know too is that i'm very very confident and positive that both things would work man and, and but yeah. it's just a matter of yeah. you know that part you say that i don't know if korea is ready yeah but 
fuck it. We have to try it until they get ready. And I, then we have to be. I want in. Yeah. Better like, than whoever is doing it. You know I tell I mean? you it, what way I want in. Yeah. Though. Like just, just in the same way that all things comedy right. kind of came together. Right. You know, and they uh, just had the first few really good comedy podcasts. Yeah. yeah. To go, and they just brought them together yeah. and then just use the same like yeah. administration to get like uh you know yeah. all the, the the ads and sponsors like yeah. all that like just have people that could have been the business yeah. deal with that and let the comedians do their shit. right uh, i have a question for you though yeah what do you think about dating within uh dating a co-worker uh, yay or nay no, uh, I, I think it's uh, if it's just a, if I had to choose, yay yeah or nay, then yeah. I would say nay. I because would say no. because when they break up or have a fight, then it's uh, productivity might be affected. Yeah, there's just too much. Um, yeah, yeah, it's just like too risky. Yeah, yeah, you know, let's say yeah, they break up and and um, like the first thing they're gonna try and do is yeah. coexist right, right, still right. and just be you know because they have to keep their jobs but right. like how certain is that yeah. you know uh it's just too too risky yeah because you know? uh two couples have been um two couples have been made i don't know two couples yeah. have, have have uh in the comedy been, scene? been birthed because uh fucking our part-timers are fucking like yeah dating each other Oh, at the comedy club. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And yeah. I'm, I, I don't. I mean, we we didn't set a rule yeah. that you can't fucking date coworkers or yeah. whatever, and they're part timers. But yeah, I'm kind of like worried because yeah, if they inevitably they're going to break up. That's just yeah. statistics, just, right? Just make a rule. It's just say, right. all right, well, if if you guys break up, we're going to make a vote who yeah. we like better and yeah. the other one has to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, That's kind of where okay, I'm yeah. at because yeah. like, well, some of them are smart. Yeah. Some of them quit. Mm -hmm. And the next day they started dating the current, empl like current uh, employed person. Oh, uh, okay. You know? Okay. And, you know, I, you know, one of them I just looked at and I was like, you better not make this fucking awkward. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because you know? he also yeah. does stand up. So, yeah. you know what I told him? I said, if you fuck this up. Yeah. You're never going to be on stage here. <laughs> right. Right. Like, okay. whatever happens. Yeah. Don't fuck this up. Right. And he was like, okay, okay, okay. Fair enough. Right. Yeah. <laughs> you gave him fair warning. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, I was like, I was like. I know you more than her, uh -huh. but in the grand scheme of this business, if you fuck it up and I, you know what I tell the kids? I was like, trust me, guys, you guys, none of you guys are helping. Right. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. you, none of you guys are really helping. Yeah. Right. But don't give me extra stress. Yeah. yeah. That's the only way you can help right now. Yeah. Right. And they're like, what do you mean? We're not helping. I was like, you're not helping. Mm hmm. I even remember on Thursday mm -hmm. when everyone's slowly eating shit on stage. Yeah. Everyone ate shit on stage. Yeah. And I was like, God damn it. And I had to kind of. You saved the show. Yeah. Yeah. But let's, I let's do be it. Honest. I do it fairly often. Yeah. To a point where the, some of the comedians in front of me, well, well, Danny's going to save it. So I'm going to just, I can shit the bed and nobody, you know, like, you know, and, yeah. and I want to, pull people and be like look you, you should you're never... you're not good enough to just be experimental and let it fly you know what i mean you should you know what you should do like yeah. you should not pay uh the comedians that that bomb on stage just and disperse it to the <laughs> the comedians that do well that night no they give a little pressure on them no then i'm the, well. then i'm the only one that's gonna always get paid <laughs> yeah yeah, like yeah. just just <laughs> nobody else is gonna get paid then <laughs> right so oh, man. yeah so like you know it's yeah. like that kind of stuff but anyway yeah. like, the the idea of even here right yeah. like i'm i'm sure that i mean there's one couple that we know that are you know working together and yeah, dating yeah. but then like i'm sure there has been more yeah you know yeah and i don't know it's it's just the idea like i 
I think logically you all can break up and mm-hmm. still be cordial mm-hmm. and still not let productivity be affected or whatever. Yeah. But it's still awkward. You know what I mean? It's not just awkward for, for them. It's awkward for everybody around. Not. Yeah. Right. You yeah. Know? Yeah. And I. I'm generally against it, but. And then, you know, me and, and mm-hmm. I'm kind of um, a natural born dickhead, right? Mm-hmm. So when I see the awkwardness, I will comment <laughs> on it more yeah. Yeah. to make it more awkward. Yeah. Just yeah. for people to like. Loosen up. Loosen up. Sure. But then usually they don't loosen up. Okay. They get more tense. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know. Yeah. So, you know, I'd be like, "Hey, hey, I saw you on Tinder the other day, <laughs> in front of the yeah. ex-boyfriend, yeah. just to, you know, uh-huh. and, and her, yeah. you know, just so that they all get all, all." I'm glad you it. do that. That's just who you are, you know. Yeah. And um, again, it makes me think of Norm Macdonald. You know, like him doing stuff, just being committed to his comedy. Like not, his comedy has less to do with um, uh, pleasing others. It was it was for himself, really. Like, you, know, you know, have you, I'm sure you've heard this story about mm-hmm. Norm, where like, you know, like uh, when he was starting out in Canada mm-hmm. and he when he'd bomb yeah. versus when he would kill yeah i think right, right. we talked about it. like yeah, yeah. I, I love that i love that, that. he would go outside and yeah. shake everyone's hand yeah when he bombed yeah is it's a different set of like balls mm-hmm. do you know what i mean yeah because because look in my life when i've bombed yeah the look on people's faces like you know as they're leaving the venue and they, uh-huh. they walk past you and the way they look at you uh-huh. is the daggers. <laughs> oh, dude, it, it, it hurts. It <laughs> fucking hurts. <laughs> but this guy, the 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 fortitude this guy has yeah. to look them in the eyes yeah. and shake them, shake their hands. Yeah. It's it's yeah, it's 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 a talent. It's a gift. You know what I mean? Like there's, you know, like how, you know, like as no matter how much you practice shooting a basketball or, or whatever, or lifting weights or doing something, right. Yeah. There's some God given traits that make you, that puts you in another level Yeah. from the, like your starting point is different, right. Mm-hmm. Then that kind of mentality and, and just attitude is, is it's so yeah, I mean so that's a, a level of commitment to comedy that is just probably most people will never yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, be a part of. Yeah, like yeah. so, he did. I heard this story about him doing Weekend Update. Right, mm-hmm. he had a uh, friend that he wrote a lot of those jokes with. Mm-hmm. Right, and and uh, apparently they had the dress rehearsal mm-hmm. where they know if a joke's gonna hit or not. Yeah, and if it doesn't hit during dress rehearsal, it's they cut it. Right, that it doesn't go live. Yeah. Because uh, nine times out of ten, it's not going to work yeah. live, right? So, but Norm, he he writes the jokes, yeah. right? So he's committed to. He knows it's funny, yeah, yeah. and he he thinks it's funny. That's all that matters. Yep. So more times than not, he would it wouldn't do well at uh, at dress rehearsal, yeah. and then, uh, but he would still do the joke yeah, yeah, yeah. live, yeah, and it, yeah. sure enough, it would not get any laughs, mm-hmm. but he would still do it that time and time again and then you would see yeah. like when, when they close up to his face yeah he has that that look grin like, yeah that like that 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 mischievous grin yeah that, uh, that dude like and, which is the thing that comics uh most often talk about right and that's why they're on uh, he's undeniably yeah like in another in another like category of yeah. comedians so they always bring that up they're like that that look we know what that is. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, no. Ultimately, so. dude. Like, uh, there's, you know, there's, you know, when you when you hear of those, like, not the famous comedians, but the ones that are considered like great, mm-hmm. right? They have something that's um, 
It's it's it, you know whether it take it took time to do that or whether it, whether it was a, a given trait or whatever, just a, mm-hmm. a mindset that's so unique compared to everybody else's. It's it's something that it's hard to teach because like mm-hmm. I tell I t- you know like because in the beginning you're gonna fake it you're gonna fake like you yeah. you don't give a fuck but you can like oh you, but like you can tell you like care. you can tell like yeah. I I go you know I tell I tell the kids like on stage. Like the first thing you, I, I go, think of this like jujitsu, right? Like, so the first, first white belt is all you got to do is think about being funny. Yeah. Right. And I go, uh, the second is you got to get used to silence, mm-hmm. right? Not used to, but like be okay with it. Yeah. Don't let it beat you up. Yeah. And then uh, number three is find your voice, right? Mm-hmm. Find your real voice, you mm-hmm. know, because everyone tries to like, like uh mimic other yeah copy like you know like the steal their essence (laughs) no do you know how many comics have come out to say that their first five years they basically copied dave attell Uh, the 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 children of dave attell yeah as they call themselves there's a lot of them there's a lot of them right because and obviously you're going to copy uh and mimic Mm -hmm. these killer gray comics right yeah and so, but, you know, eventually you're going to be like, Find oh, your own it's voice. not me. Right. Yeah. But the part about the being funny part is, you know, like obviously the, the first step. And the second one is about, um, don't get flustered by silence. Mm-hmm. You could, I could tell like, and I'm sure you can tell cause you've seen enough stand up here too. Right. There are jokes that have worked a thousand times. Yeah. Yeah. And they tell it in this setting and it eats fucking dog shit. Yeah. And they try to play it off like, this don't bother me. Yeah. But you could see it in their eyes. They're like, I am yeah. afraid right now. Yeah. Right? And I go, that's the hard part. That's the hard part of like, I need people to get to a level where it, yeah. even if they ate that joke, ate shit, they're like... Oh, what are you going to do? <laughs> right? Like, yeah. like, you know, that's, that's, that's the attitude I want. Yeah. It's really hard to do, to have people think that way, you know? I mean, the same goes in uh, mu- music too, or it, it's hard to win a crowd back over mm. uh, when, when, when you mess up, met, royally mess up, at least for yourself. You know? Like what did, like, what was a big, have you ever royally messed up? That, that? Yeah. My voice is cracked uh, multiple times. Uh, like when I've just like singing. I just couldn't reach a, mm. a key. Mm. Um, and then it really affects you like when it first happens, right? right? But after a while, like it, it happens yeah. and I'm just like, and I make fun of myself, yeah. like, and it, it's okay. Yeah. Like that's the way I, I overcome it and right. win the crowd back over. But yeah. in the beginning, it was just like, I fuck up a lyric. I forgot lyrics and stuff. I'm just like, I couldn't find my way back. Yeah. And I just kind of gave up and I was just depressed the rest of the set and just kind of like, you know, the focus too much on my mistakes, right, right, right. right? And then I found out at a certain point that you know all I have to do is just kind of acknowledge the mistake, yeah, yeah, yeah. and just be the one to be okay with it, and everyone else will be okay yeah, with yeah, it too. Yeah. And that's something you learn with over time, yeah, right. And so th- the same goes with comedians, I'm sure. You know, they're not going to hit every joke, you know, but you got to keep going. Also, you got to acknowledge mm-hmm. the environment you're in, right? So yeah. like. I think I told this to you. I don't know if I said it in the podcast before, but back in the days we did like a show at CGV in Shinchon, right? A movie yeah. theater, right? Yeah. Sits about like 200, 250 people, right? And one day on a Saturday afternoon, we had to go there and I did it. We got there. There were seven comedians. Mm-hmm. There was one. Oh, we talked about oh, this yeah, on yeah, the show. Yeah. 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 The one guy and you're yeah. like... Yeah. Um, if you want your money back, we'll uh, yeah, let yeah, you go. And yeah. he was like, no, no. But, <laughs> but, the, but, but the reason I wanted to bring this up again was because the first five comedians uh-huh. did their set as if it was a packed house. Uh, big mistake. Right? Yeah. You know? Yeah. And I was like, no, nah, you're just going to look like, yeah, like I don't know, but try hard. But, you know, it's going to look, it's going to look bad, right? Yeah, yeah. The guy before me. Tongun and I acknowledge that this is a fucked up situation Mm -hmm. and we are going to make it even more fucked up Mm -hmm. as punishment for you not to have nunchi enough 
to, to leave. fucking leave. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. And the dude loved it. Oh yeah. He loved it. Okay. He loved it. Okay. You okay. know? And so the, the, the other comedians yeah. did not understand why this technique worked. Uh, they were like, wow, how did you do that? And I was yeah. like, because you acted like there's a thousand people in this yeah. motherfucking room when there's only <laughs> one motherfucker, right? You cannot go up and say, how's everybody doing tonight? You should say, how are you doing, sir? It's but, like me singing my, one of my songs yeah. to one person yeah. and taking the mic and yeah. going, yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 So you sing the chorus. <laughs> yeah. like, you know what I mean? Like, uh-huh. like again, it's because like, and I, and I, I'm, I'm so against uh-huh. like them memorizing verbatim their set. Yeah. Right. You're like, because <laughs> has anyone uh, here raise your hand if you uh, ever uh, watch porn? <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, what are you doing? Just ask him. Yeah. But but the thing any is, couples here? Any couples here? Like, uh, <laughs> yeah. But, 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 but I mean, beyond that, I was like, at that point, you shouldn't even ask. Yeah. If you watch porn, you want to know yeah. why? Yeah. Because yes or no, whatever the answer is. Yeah. You know, yeah. Like that's to can. help the joke for the rest Everyone of the audience. Else, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you're just going, sir, do you watch porn? Yeah. You know, and what? Yes, no. Like to get to your own shitty joke. Yeah. yeah. You set up this mechanism. Yeah. To get to it, uh-huh. but when there's only one person, it's irrelevant. Mm. But you just memorized verbatim what yeah. you're gonna do. And once that starts falling apart, <laughs> then your whole set falls apart. You know what I mean? Yeah. Similar to your voice cracking, if you mm-hmm. if you don't acknowledge it, and then you're just trying to get back on track to whatever the fuck you planned on doing, yeah, yeah it's not gonna work, you know. And so, you know, but that's the thing that I'm trying to teach these kids. But I think it just takes time. But you know, you want to know. It takes time. It takes as many as many experiences as possible. You know what I realized though? And this is something I I heard recently about stereotypically how Koreans learn, right? How so? Koreans learn or they, they go about learning or doing things because they have a certain mentor. Mm -hmm. And the mentor tells them to do X, Y, and Z, uh-huh. and they do X, Y, and Z. Okay. Right? Okay. Meaning like, hey, like, pause for half a second here. Oh, okay. Like, they need that kind of f- like fucking guidance. guidance. Okay. Right? As opposed to, you know, like, hey, don't, don't memorize. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, like that, that, that's not detailed yeah. enough for them to understand it. Yeah. yeah. But really what it is, it's just like the 10,000 hour rule, yeah. like generally speaking, yeah, you yeah. just have to get out there and every experience is going to be different. Yeah. And some of them kind of like, oh, like looking back will always be like, oh, oh yeah, I've done a show for one person before. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then like, but there are comics that haven't right. been through that yet. Yeah. And, but they need that. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, so it's almost like if you were gonna do it like in a, in a school setting, like yeah. it, that, you probably have to set up all those scenarios for them. Yeah, right? but you know, like I, I, I'm, it again, like it, mm-hmm. that's why I think I've the for the last five years when I yeah. say do this and this and this. Yeah, my style isn't to give them the answer; it's to kind of just be the um, the borders in the bowling alley, so yeah. it doesn't go into the gutter. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't want to be like, here's, I'm going to narrow it so that it's always going to be strikes. I'm just going to be like, just don't fall into the gutter, whatever. It's, it's like know? throwing a baby into the water. Yeah. <laughs> just like, yeah, yeah, just, yeah. Hey, yeah. make your way back to the, yeah, yeah, <laughs> to yeah. the shore kind of. But, you know, but that's the yeah. way I actually. That's how you learned. Right? Learn how to swim for yeah. real, for real. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so, um, Again, you know, and, and that's yeah. why one of the kids, he got drunk this past weekend and he was like, hell, I think the reason why is because you don't give like, like definitive, like things to do, to do list. Oh, cause right? he's used to that. Right. And I go, okay. All right. And then my brain switched and I was like, okay, I want you and you tomorrow to go to 10 different other venues 
to figure out if you can do a show or an open mic night on a Tuesday. Yeah. And they're like, I was like, is that detailed enough for you? <laughs> yeah. Or should I give you the exact bars to go to? Yeah. You know? It's like, uh, so this is where we start giving advice to other uh, budding young podcasters. Yeah. Uh, get to a hundred episodes yeah. at least. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you remember in the beginning, I was cutting every episode and trying to do like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like traditional cuts and stuff. Yeah. I was taking out all the uhs and, yeah. and stuff like that. Just like, and, and now here we are, like, I'm not willing to do that stuff, <laughs> you know, because, but that's the whole point. Because right? it's like, the uhs and ahs come from me, yeah. but you are the grand champion of us and us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we're better though now. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't think we do it as much as we used to. Mm. I think we're more conscious of our, you know, the situation, but I think we're better podcasters now than we were. I don't know, I think, two years I think we're still shitty. Yeah. 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 All right, we better wrap it up then. <laughs> well, uh, 101 episodes, yeah. we actually had, uh, a guest or two a schedule today. Yeah. But yeah. but obviously that because the Nunchi podcast is not important to them. Yeah. Uh, no, you know? no. We'll, we'll uh, get yeah. them back. We, we have some, yeah, we're going to be a little bit, yeah. Well, I'm not, no promises. Let's, no promises. Let's just close it. Yes. We're, we're good, right? We're good. You guys, the ones that stuck with us, you're going to stay, stay with us, right? <laughs> next time, next time <laughs> on the next episode. <laughs> My balls will be less, Oh, we'll talk about that less then. filled. We'll talk about that then. Okay. Uh all right. Thanks everybody. Bye bye. See you next time.